Hi, this is Bear Ross. You can call me John if you want, or JBR. Uh, this is a pronunciation guide for my upcoming novel, uh, Junction World, Book One, Defiance. There's a lot of tongue twisters. It's an interdimensional murder mystery, science fiction, mech gladiator uh, adventure. I think you're going to enjoy it. But the price or the side effect of having all those different worlds and cultures and creatures come together is uh, not everyone's named Bob and Sue. So uh, it's just a quick pronunciation guide for you, the reader, also the listener, and also the uh, narrator for the audiobook. So my apologies in advance to you, whoever you may be, but uh, hopefully this will help you not get so twisted up like I naturally tend to be twisted up. It's easier to write this stuff than to say it. Uh, I'll start with my main character, Jessica Kramer. Uh, at one point she's also re referred to as Jessica. It happens a lot of times uh, with in Spanish cultures. Uh, the J is pronounced as Y. I've been called Yon a lot. A lot. Uh, but let me get, that's, that's a minor point. Let me get to the uh, major tongue twister names. Uh, we'll start with the races. Uh, the Arcathans. The Arcathans. The Suzran Click. Suzran Click. The Kanar. Kanar. The Japren Empire. Japren. The Myotians. Myotians. Angry little spuds. The Nif. Nif. The Shasar. Shasar. Either singular or plural. Shasar. Uh, this one I actually had to change after I set it myself, and that makes no sense. Uh, so their name was changed to the Calix. Calix. That previous uh, pronunciation, it, it just, it hurt. Uh, the Skevians, everyone's favorite bone squid, the Skevians. And then we'll get into some of the main characters. Kaitos. Kaitos is a Nif. Verver, verver, like fervor. Verver is a my ocean. Everyone's favorite ascended Prath. Prath, the voice of reason, my experience. And then here's some secondary characters that some play a big part later, so I might as well get to know them. Among them, no spoilers, Kiera. Kiera, like Sierra. She's a word answer. Molino. Anora, Anora, Young Kenji, Kenji, a couple Japanese names there, Miko, Hepsa, Hepsa, everyone's favorite uh, assassin mech ace, Masamune Kyuzo, Masamune Kyuzo. Flever Sixth Son, Flever Sixth Son, if you really want to uh, enunciate. Tevrin, Tevrin. Screeb Fourth Hatched, Screeb to his friends. Velsh, Velsh, Velshi in passing. Gorth. Gorth and Skak. Skak. It's like Scott, but with a G and a K, obviously. So Skak. Those last three were uh, Skevians. Now here are the uh, gatekeepers. I have to say that uh, you know what was going through my mind was you know something. I need something Greek, maybe a little Latin, August and imperial sounding, but without actually borrowing from actual Greek names. So. Gatekeepers are their own funny little thing, but uh, I like them. They're a good, uh, good race to deal with. Mikrolos. Mikrolos is our main 
antagonist, Dionyles, Dionyles, Bellafries, nasty customer, Bellafries. Hephaelios, Hephaelios. There's a few gate lords, the top rank of the uh, gatekeepers. Polomius, Polomius. What for the uh, Z pronunciation of X? So Xenobris, Xenobris, and Veranus, Veranus. So that's uh, that's how I say their names. You might have uh, different ideas, especially if you're a linguist, so don't crucify me. But I uh, just want to put a verbal sound to what you're reading and uh, hopefully not confuse the narrator too bad. So thank you for your time. Appreciate it. And uh, when the book launches, uh, you'll start seeing more videos. That's my little 3D printer right there. I'm uh, testing some, some files. I'm also going to be releasing, along with the book, uh, files that I've sculpted of... Uh, the large handheld mech weapons that are portrayed in the book. Uh, maybe you can use them, shrink them down, scale them up. Uh, it'll be uh, all free and part of the initial book offer. So uh, check back for more. Appreciate it. Bear Ross signing off. Thanks.